Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ivan and I solve puzzles here. My regular viewers know a lot about me, but if you are new to this channel and you want to know more about who am I, here is the link to my recent interview with Tyler from Puzzle Master. You will find out there where I came from, how I start solving puzzles, how I start filming puzzle videos and many other interesting stuff. Probably this interview is going to be interesting for my regular viewers as well. But don't rush to skip my video since today I'm going to solve a puzzle. And the name of today's puzzle is Yankee Ingenuity. It is a part of Tavern Puzzle Collection. As you know, I have probably six or seven of these uh, Tavern Puzzles in my collection. And today I'm gonna solve this one. It has difficulty level 10 out of 10. And the object is to remove this huge ring. At the first glance, this puzzle looks very difficult and probably it's gonna be very difficult to solve. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time uh, trying to figure out uh, the solution. If you like Yankee Ingenuity Puzzle and you want to buy it, link is going to be in the video description as always. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. Right from the box, this puzzle looks like a mess and I don't even know where to start solving it. But first I have to remove this tag and plastic ring to start. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I think that I have to take a booklet that comes with the puzzle and take a look at how it's supposed to look. Since for now, I don't really understand where is the top of this puzzle, where is the bottom. Oh, probably like this. If I grab this small ring, it's going to be something like this. Let's compare it to this booklet. Let's see what we have here. Here is the puzzle. This chain goes here. This goes here. Okay. And the goal is to remove the big ring. Okay. That's going to be a very challenging puzzle, I think. So let's take a look what we can do here. So I think that I have to try to imagine that I am the ring and I, and I want to escape from this puzzle. Usually I do like that. Okay, so what's gonna be the move here? It is actually held by this part. And if I move it around, it looks like if I could move it inside this... Oh, I can move this ring. Okay. That might be interesting. And on this side, I can move this ring as well. Okay. At least something to begin with. Let's see what I can do next. Again, I have the same puzzle. Sorry, there is going to be a lot of noise here. Okay, now only this small ring is what keeping me from removing this big ring. And that's it. But how to remove it now? Okay. I think... Oh, let's see. It looks like I can move it through this side. It is big enough so that it can fit the ring. Now I can move it right here. And now it is on this side where there is a triangle. And that's it again. I'm stuck and don't know what to do next. Okay, I'll just keep it aside for now. And let's see, maybe the object here if I have to remove the ring, I don't have to remove the ring. Maybe I have to remove this chain. That's probably can happen. And to remove this chain, what I can do... It goes here and there. And the only ring that keeps it from being removed is this one. And when I move it right here... Probably there is a way how to move it around 
no, I think that I didn't do anything good. Okay, I have two parts and they're connected with the chain only. And if I move it inside of this part, it's going to be even less obvious connection. Okay, so like this. Okay, but what's next? What I can do next? Feels like I can do something here and it's going to be quite a simple one and it's going to help me to figure out the solution. Okay, that's all what I have. I have two rings and I have to do something with them to remove the chain. Yeah, that doesn't look like I can do anything here. And I can't do anything here. So maybe these parts I can do something here. I don't know. What if there is something here that I can do? So maybe, okay. I can move this piece. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe I can move it around this. Okay, I know, I know the solution. I know the solution. I just have to move the ring around all this stuff. I have to free some space here. There is not enough space for the ring to be moved around. Okay, let's see. Again, I can do it like this. The ring will go inside. No, please go inside. I think that I have to do something here. It is not enough, just a little bit of space to move the ring. Okay, I'll move this small ring and now probably I'm gonna have enough space. Yeah, okay, this goes here and... Ta -da! Okay, Whew. 10 minutes and the puzzle is solved. Now, another challenging part, I have to assemble it back. And for this, I think that I have to have this picture since I don't really remember how it was at the very beginning. I hope it's not a cheating. I hope you are not gonna consider it as a cheating. So this goes here. Now, this part goes right here and now I have to move this part back inside yeah this one was quite difficult to remove and now it's gonna be quite difficult to put back okay this goes here no please go inside This goes inside. What's gonna be the next move? This goes with the ring. The next one. What's gonna be the next one? I have to move this small ring on the other side so that it's gonna be the part which I can use to hold the puzzle. So the next one probably it's gonna be like this. Oh yeah, I think that it is exactly what I was 
we're looking for. Probably I just have to move this small ring on this side. And this goes here. And now I have to put the big ring back. Okay, I think it was something like this. I have to move it inside this big part. And then right here. Okay, so now I think. Oh, sorry. It's gonna be pretty loud. Okay, now the puzzle is assembled back. I think so. And it looks like on a picture. Okay, that's it. That was a quick solve for a level 10 puzzle, even though it took me a lot of time to play with the chain, since I had this idea that by removing the chain I will be able to remove the ring. My idea wasn't correct, actually it was just partly correct, since at the very beginning I had to deal with the chain, but next I had to stick to the ring and figure out how to remove the ring. And it turns out this puzzle wasn't as difficult, it is uh, pretty much straightforward, there were no uh, difficult tricks, everything was pretty logical, uh, but uh, at the very beginning when I start solving this puzzle I thought that it is extremely difficult. It looks difficult and when you start solving it feels very difficult, but then after a couple of minutes playing with this puzzle you will figure out that it is not as difficult and probably difficult level for this puzzle 8 will be much more deserved than the level 10. Nevertheless, this is a great addition to my collection. I think this is the seventh puzzle from Tavern Puzzle Collection that I have. I don't really remember since I have a lot of puzzles in boxes. Here you can see just about 100 puzzles on my shelves, but more than 300 puzzles are in boxes and I don't even have a list of puzzles that I own. So if you have a big collection of puzzles, let me know how do you keep tracking which puzzles do you have, which puzzles are solved, which are unsolved. Do you use any kind of software or you just have a list of puzzles where you write down with a pen uh, a new puzzle that you received or just let me know what to do with this uh, collection, how to keep tracking which puzzles I have. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time.